is when you have a trinomial, one, two, three terms, but that leading coefficient is not one, okay? It's something other than one. These problems tend to be a little bit more difficult, and what you can do is you can use this splitting the middle term technique. So what you do is you take the leading coefficient times the constant. So you ask yourself, okay, this is the toughest part about it. You ask yourself what two numbers multiply to negative 24. So that's the product of the leading coefficient and the constant. But those same two numbers have to add to the middle coefficient, which in this case is negative 10. Okay, so you're with me so far? So they have to multiply to negative 24, but they have to add to this middle coefficient negative 10. Hmm, so what two numbers do that? Well, it looks like negative 12 and positive 2. See, negative 12 plus 2 is negative 10. Negative 12 times positive 2 is negative 24. Now what we do is we take these two numbers and we split the middle term into negative 12x and positive 2x. They'll still add up to negative 10x, so we haven't changed the problem at all. We just changed the way that it looks, okay? Now what we do is bring down the first and last term like we just did here, and you can see you've got one, two, three, four terms. So when you have four terms, generally you look at factoring by grouping. So what you do here is you group the first two terms, you group the last two terms. These are actually added together, so I put a plus sign in between. And then what you do is you factor out the leading, uh, not the leading coefficient, but the greatest common factor out of both of these groups. So here it looks like the greatest common factor is 4x. So if I divide this by 4x, I'm left with 2x. If I divide this by 4x, I'm left with negative 3. Here, the greatest common factor is really just a 1, because you can't divide anything out of those. There's nothing in common. So we're left with 2x minus 3. Now, notice out of this group and this group, what do they have in common? They have this 2x minus 3. So what we're going to do is we're going to factor it out as the greatest common factor, this whole thing. So if we divide this whole thing by 2x minus 3, we're just left with 4x. If we divide this whole thing by 2x minus 3, we're just left with positive 1. If you FOIL all this out, you're going to get back the original trinomial. So that's